Hey, opera goers! Are you an outcast from society who may or may not have killed two children in tragic fishing accidents? Well, if so, then you have a lot in common with our protagonist today. It's Peter Grimes by Benjamin Britten. The opera starts with a prologue that takes place at a trial. I hereby find the death of Peter Grimes' apprentice to be an accident. What? Boo! He has shifty eyes. Throw him in jail because he makes us feel uncomfortable. I didn't kill my apprentice. At most, it was poor planning and eventual dehydration. I believe you, Peter. Me too. But may I suggest you forego hiring a replacement apprentice? The crowd is getting pretty wild. But without an apprentice, how will I ever strike it rich and be able to marry you, Ellen? I have a feeling I'm going to be saying this a lot in the near future. But Peter, I would love you even if you didn't have a penny to your name. Did you hear that, Bellstro? Ellen thinks I don't have a penny to my name. Find me an apprentice at once. Against his better judgment, Balstrode finds Peter a new apprentice. I feel like part of me recognizes that my hatred for Peter Grimes is irrational, but I just cannot help it. Oh, I know, that guy is the worst. I hate him so much. There you are, Peter. I found you a new apprentice. He's pretty tired though, so you should probably give him a bit of a rest before you take him out to sea. Under normal circumstances, I would, Ellen but I really want to fit in with these new town folk. And the only way that's going to happen is by getting rich. Sorry to interject, but I would hate you even if you had a million dollars. Just saying. That does it. Boy, rig up the boat. We're going out. A few days later, Ellen finds a bruise on the apprentice's neck and confronts Peter about it in front of the townspeople. Peter, I have to say I'm pretty concerned about you. I noticed a bruise on your apprentice's neck, and when I asked him about it, he said you did it. It was an accident. He just hit her! I now have justification for my rage! The townspeople form a mob bent on lynching, I mean, investigating Peter Grimes. Peter, in turn, decides that it would be best to go fishing under less than desirable circumstances. I am now convinced that the only way I know to win over the crowd is to become filthy rich. And the only way I know how to do that is by fishing and selling those fish. This sound business plan is almost as smart as my idea to have my apprentice scale a rocky cliff in the middle of a store. Which reminds me, I should check on him. Hey boy, make sure you hang onto that rock or you might slip. Whoops, too late. Peter's second apprentice falls to his death. Grimes flees just as the mob enters his hut. A few days later, Balstrode and Ellen discuss the news. Ellen, I have some bad news. The townspeople are going crazy. They're convinced that Peter killed his apprentice. He's returned to town, and I found this sweater washed up on shore. That's the sweater I knit for Peter's apprentice. <gasps> oh no! The apprentice must be dead! <gasps> Peter Grimes is a murderer! We have proof now! Reassemble the mob! As the mob reassembles, Ellen and Balstrode find Grimes. Peter, I'm going to be honest with you. Things do not look good. I suggest that you take your boat out into the middle of the ocean, sink it, ending your life, and taking your shame along with you. Couldn't he just move to another town? I'm afraid not. But why not? He didn't actually kill anybody. He's technically committed no crimes. Death is literally the only solution. But death is so extreme and kind of irrational. Balstrode, you make a lot of sense. Ellen, it was nice knowing you. I must go kill myself now. But wait! There are so many other options! And with that, Peter Grimes takes his boat out to sea and drowns. Check out the links below for more information. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe. And leave us a comment telling us which opera you'd like us to do next.